Quick thoughts on Picard Season 3, Episode 3. Spoilers ahead. So if you haven't seen it, don't watch this. I enjoyed it more than I enjoyed Episode 2. Um, I did not enjoy the pacing. We are in an intense nebula battle chase thing a la Wrath of Khan. And we keep cutting away to Rafi. And yes, it was great to see Worf, but it just slowed it down a lot for me. And um, I'm slowly starting to uh, tolerate Rafi a little bit more. Like, I prefer uh, the Rafi we see at the very end where she says, cool. And she's now on a mission and uh, motivated and... I, I can live with that, Rafi. I do not enjoy angry, emotional um, Rafi that we've seen. You know, season one, she's mad at Jean-Luc for abandoning her and she's a drug addict. Season two, she's mad because Legolas died and they're trapped in the past. And she's bickering with Seven of Nine the whole season. And then the first two episodes, she's under deep undercover and stressed out and witnesses the terrorist attack and I, I just I have not enjoyed her presence and so I'm hoping it's a character turn and her team with Worf can uh, be a positive um, I don't enjoy that all the TNG cast are mad at each other um, you know we've waited a long time for this and I know it's going to pay off with them coming together and working together to win but I'm not enjoying the build up like I don't it's like seeing your parents fight I, mommy and daddy stop fighting be nice And I, Beverly's mad at Jean-Luc Jean-Luc's mad at Beverly Will is getting annoyed by Jean-Luc Jean-Luc thinks Will's being a pussy and then that ending you can leave the bridge you just killed us all and then it cuts to the bridge crew like, really, Captain? There's no, no, <laughs> you you killed us all. Okay, well, I guess I'll just put a phaser in my head. Uh, I did not like that. And uh, really, uh, <laughs> you're that mad at him? Because you had tried everything else and it wasn't working. Um don't really care about the the portal weapon i mean it, it's a it's a thing it's uh, uh I, yeah I, that didn't really do anything for me um um i i loved the uh reveal and again this is the biggest spoiler probably so uh stop if uh, you haven't seen it Freaking changelings. Yes, I am down. I love it. I want more post DS9 stuff. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Odo told Worf about the splinter cell of changelings. Nice to hear that some of the changelings uh, were cool. Um, interesting that in the Great Link. There can be a splinter group, uh, but, you know, whatever. We don't know that much about the Great Link. Uh, I find it strange that a chain... So, they catch the changeling. And, yeah, he was holding his form because he didn't want to be revealed as a changeling. But, why would a choke slam from Worf allow a changeling to be captured? And... Why not turn into a bird and fly away? And yeah, you would have been outed as a changeling, but at least you wouldn't have been captured. Uh, so that was a little weird. Uh, but I, I love that reveal. I, I love it. I, that when uh, Jack punched the changeling, I was like, ooh, is that, could that be a founder? I don't know. I'm not going to get too excited. And then Worf confirms it later. Yes, 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 yes. Big up. Love it. Uh, I, uh, could we see some Jim at R? I, I, I don't know. Would the Jim Dar? I, I don't know. I would love to see some Jim Dar. I think they were great bad guys, deep bad guys. I mean, oh, that that episode where they're 
Stranded on the planet with the wounded Vorta. Oh, that one's a one of the best DS9 episodes. It, it, there are multiple Jim Hadar episodes that are phenomenal. The one where they team up to go take out the rogue Jim Hadar. The one where they're in the ship, uh, the crashed Jim Hadar ship. Oh, so good. Um, I'm glad Vedic is Vatic, whatever is not the main main bad guy it seems so that that's good I hope I hope she's not controlling the founders um, what else uh, I'm not invested yet in the Jack Jean-Luc Beverly stuff I did did appreciate that they threw in a line about the accent because <laughs> that was what everybody was wondering last week so well done writers anticipating that um captain shaw in bad shape um i haven't enjoyed this aspect of any of the first two seasons and three episodes how the doctor was throwing shade at Beverly that, oh, you're old. You're old. And I'd have to explain things have changed over the last 25 years. You know, these people are heroes from TNG. And to see everybody just kind of shit on them, it's not fun. And I know they're going to overcome it. But, um, yeah, it just gets a little tiresome. At least everybody's pretty respectful to Riker. Um... And uh, I'm not a prude. I have seen the Saw movies. And I I swear. But I don't need S-H-I-T bombs in Star Trek. I, uh, you know, it just it doesn't enhance it. It's just because it's on the streaming service. And I know they would say, oh, they still swear in, the tw in Star Trek. It's just they like, couldn't back in the 90s. Fine, but I, I don't want it. Like, I'd love to be able to watch Picard with my eight-year-old. But I don't want him seeing a decapitation. And I don't want him hearing multiple SH bombs in an episode. And it just feels unnecessary. I don't want to say it's not Star Trek. But I don't want it. If I want that stuff, I'll go watch a Quentin Tarantino movie. I'll go watch, you know, Breaking Bad. <laughs> if I want decapitations and the occasional S-bomb. Um, yeah, I, I did not enjoy the, the graphic violence of a week ago. And then they freaking show it again in a Rafi flashback. You know, in a universe where you have phasers that can disintegrate people. Which they disintegrated the changeling. It's really unnecessary to need to decapitate people and show graphic violence. And I know Worf did a lot of stabbing back in Deep Space Nine, but that was never graphic. And it was still really effective with good sound effects. You know, some of that Klingon stabbing and Jim Hadar stabbing, it, you know, Worf slices a guy's neck, good sound effect, and you still go, oof. So... Uh, that that bothered me. Um, yeah, but I mean, for me, that founder reveal really elevated everything else and um, made up for any other gripes I had about the episode. I am very excited about the changelings. And uh, I did not expect that. Good job job star trek so that's my thoughts on picard season three um you know it's got me excited enough that i stay up until 12 o'clock thursday morning and watch it <laughs> and then regret life the next day uh i certainly did not do that for discovery uh or picard season one or two um i did do it for strange new worlds because i loved it so it's got me uh, interested enough, and um, I, I like Worf, 
<laughs> uh, I mean, some of his lines were a little off, but you know, it, it's been 25 years since we last saw him. So whatever, you know, he's going to talk differently, of course. So whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, um, ready. Uh, I don't know how they're going to get out of this nebula, but ready for the story to kind of move on a little bit. Like we've been at this nebula now for three episodes and I'd like to see us get back to the Federation and advance the story and I, I, I'm a little anxious over this slow drip of the TNG crew. Like when's Jordy going to get here? When they get back to the Federation probably. What about Deanna? Um, so we shall see. Seven episodes left, right? All right. Live long and prosper.